Good evening and thank you for joining us in our reflections on Mary and her place in our lives. I'm Sister Claire. I live in Colwyn Bay in St Joseph's Parish and I am a sister of La Sainte Union, the Holy Union. Our founder had a great devotion to Jesus and Mary. He gave us the name the Holy Union of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary and the guideline Ad Jesum per Mariam to Jesus through Mary. Throughout this month, we have reflected on many aspects of Mary's life, from the Annunciation, yes, to everything, when everything changed, when from that very moment, Mary became the mother of God, the mother of the church, and our mother. Mary was a Jew, and she and Joseph followed the practices and traditions of the Jewish religion. The role of the mother in a Jewish family is very important, and wives and mother seem to be central to the family. Mary was a real woman who knew the realities of life and motherhood. That traumatic journey and birth in the most unsuitable conditions, the experience of a young couple with a small child as refugees in a foreign land, but also the wonder and joy of a newborn baby, the antics and laughter of a small boy who played with bits of wood and his father's tools. There were other times when things were not quite so good. The loss of a 12-year-old for three days and the boy's strange reaction to his parents' anxiety. What was his father's business? No wonder Mary pondered these things in her heart. The relationship between Jesus and Mary to me is very clear at the wedding in Canaan. Jewish weddings are lively affairs and hospitality liberal and lavish. A shortage of wine, a disaster and an embarrassment to say the least. Mary, sensitive to the occasion, simply puts Jesus in the picture and tells him the problem. He probably smiles at her and says, what do you want me to do? Mary doesn't nag and she doesn't make a fuss. Probably she just smiles back and goes back to the party, confident that all will be well. So to Jesus through Mary. That's the good part, what lay ahead. A quiet life in Nazareth with Joseph and Jesus. As the mother of an itinerant preacher who worked miracles, cast out devils, and attracted quite a lot of somewhat dubious publicity, she must have been affected by it all. Does this prepare her for the road to Calvary and the death of her beloved son? For any mother, to hold the dead body of your child in your arms must be an unspeakable sorrow. Simeon had foretold that a sword of sorrow would pierce her heart. This prophecy was undoubtedly fulfilled. Right, so who is Mary? She began her mission as an inexperienced young girl. Bernadette called her the Lady. We call her Our Lady. The Litany of Our Lady gives her many titles and statues, icons and portraits provide us with multiple visual images. The Gospels give us limited information. Luke's Gospel is the longest and he never met Jesus. Tradition tells us that he got his information from Mary and so we have the narrative of the birth and the early years. As a physician and artist, the evangelist must have appreciated the real life story of Mary and her son very much, very clearly, to Jesus through Mary. The feast of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven, is very important. So please join me as we say, Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, 
Hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. God bless you.